In this tutorial, I'll show you how to delete one or more rows as well as one or more series or columns from your pandas data frame. So let's get started. Uh, we begin with our import of, of the pandas library and we're going to assign it its most common alias of PD. And for this tutorial, I'm also going to import the numpy library so that I can very easily generate a multidimensional array of random numbers that we will feed into our data frame as our data. And we're going to give the numpy library an alias of NP. So I'm going to execute this first cell to import those two libraries. I'm going to store the data frame in a variable called df just to keep it short and sweet. I'm going to call the pandas library, which we have as the PD acronym. And then I'm going to call the data frame constructor and follow it with a set of parentheses. So the first and primary parameter that we feed into our data frame will be our uh, data. And here's where we're going to call the numpy library to generate uh, a 5 by 5 um, array. This is all just arbitrary. I'm just picking numbers here. Uh, but it'll be a simple way to get the data without having to go and look for some external data source. So I'm going to call the numpy library with np. I'm then going to refer to the random module within it. And the random module actually has a whole bevy of different functions available. I like the random integers function. I think it's pretty simple. And then we're going to open the uh, new set of parentheses where we're going to feed in the arguments for our random integers function. And uh, it takes a few parameters, a few arguments. The first is the lower bound or the number that it will start as its uh, possible lowest element. So I'm going to start counting at one. And then the second parameter is the upper bound. So the number that it can go up to as a max. So I'm going to cite uh, 15. These are all again, just random numbers chosen by me. You're welcome to choose whatever values you'd like. And after another comma, I'm going to feed in the final argument, which is going to be a list that is going to specify the dimensions of the array that I would like to create. So I'd like to create a five by five array. So that's going to be five rows by five columns, which means 25 values, all of them between one and 15 inclusive. So uh, once that is created, once we have this uh, random integers method wrapped inside our data frame constructor, I'm going to execute the cell and we can see here when I output our data frame stored in DF to the screen that we have a five by five array. Of course, if you are following along, your numbers will be different since this is a function that generates random numbers, but there will be a few things that stay constant. You can see that because we didn't specify explicitly the names of the index rows or the columns, uh, Pandas has defaulted to its conventional mechanism, which is to create a, a numeric index and a numeric column count both of which start at zero. So you can see that here. So how do we remove a single row? We call the drop method on the um, data frame. So I'm going to do dot drop after df, which is what's storing our data frame. I'm going to open a set of parentheses where we're going to feed in the arguments. And we can see that uh, the primary argument is simply the labels, which in this case is just the index position of the row that we would like to delete. So if we want to remove the row with an index position of two, we can simply write in two here and we can see that the resulting data frame has had that row removed. Similarly, if we want to remove the first row or the row with an index position of zero, we can feed that zero value into this drop uh, argument and we can see that the row has been removed. A few points to point out here. Um, this is not a permanent operation. The data frame is not altered in place. We can take a look at our DF data frame and see that all five rows are still present. So in many ways, Pandas kind of just performs this operation, returns a new data frame, and then doesn't really store it anywhere. So how do we perform this operation permanently? Well, the first and kind of intuitive method is to perform the operation and simply assign it back to the original variable but there is an available argument within the drop method that will do that for you. So if we take a look, we can see that this in place argument here is set to false by default. If we adjust it to true, so in place equals true, that's a Boolean with a capital T, this will permanently remove the row uh, with an index position of zero. So if I execute this one, and now we take a look at our data frame, you can see that now the row with an index position of zero has been removed. So that's how the, you remove a single row from a, a data frame. To remove multiple rows, uh, it's simply a matter of feeding in a list of all the values uh, just separated by a comma. So if I want to remove from our remaining data frame, let's say the rows with index positions one, three, and four, I simply have to open uh, a pair of square brackets and inside write 
the index positions. Each one will be separated by a comma. Again, this operation will be performed in place, so the original uh, DF variable will be replaced with our, our, our uh, new data frame with these rows removed. And so if I execute this and we take a look, we can see that now we only have one row remaining in our um, data frame. So that's the process of removing rows. How do we remove columns? Well, let's go back to our constructor and recreate our data frame. So we're working with our, our full um, five by five set again. So in addition to assigning uh, values to the index and columns, a pandas also assigns values to the axes. So the horizontal axis here uh, is assigned a value of zero and the vertical axis, the vertical columns, are uh, assigned a value of one. And if we take a look at our drop method, we can see that the default argument that's fed to the axis parameter is zero. So the default behavior of the drop method is to look for the value that you specify or the values you specify um, on the horizontal axis. So if instead we want to tell it to look in the columns, all we have to do is adjust the axis uh, parameter to equal one, and that will make it look in the, in the columns. So once again, we now have our original data frame in place. We're going to remove the columns which have positions of one, three, and four uh, on the vertical axis, and we're going to perform this operation in place. So it's going to permanently alter the data frame. So if we execute that and take a look, we can see that those three columns have been removed. And again, similarly, this is for multiple values, but if we only want to remove one column, we just have to feed in that single value. So of our two remaining series, let's say I want to remove the one with uh, the position of zero. I'm simply going to feed in a zero here as our first argument, execute, and now we can see that that column uh, slash series has been removed. Excellent, so, so far we've gone through the process of deleting a row or series uh, when our data frame has a uh, standard numeric index. But what happens if we have strings, which is probably the more common scenario? So I'm going to place a comma after our uh, original argument here to the data frame constructor where we generate the five by five NumPy array. And I'm going to uh, specify in an index and uh, a columns uh, to be constructed uh, when this data frame is created. So there is a argument uh, that can be passed to the index parameter in the data frame constructor. And the simplest way to do this is just to create a Python list of uh, just a string of letters. So what it will do here is it will make a uh, the value of the first uh, row, B, the index value of the second row, and so on. And similarly, I'm going to place a comma here. Uh, the constructor also has a columns parameter. And for that one, I'm going to feed it another list. And let's say I'm going to give it another combination of letters. This is all random, by the way. Let's say uh, J, K, L, M, N. This is all random. So now if I execute this and we take a look at our data frame, we can see that we now have the exact same results at the core. We have a five by five uh, data frame of random integers between one and 15, but now the index and the columns have uh, string names. So the process is exactly the same. The only difference now is that if we have strings, we have to pass them in in quotes, uh, either single quotes or double quotes, whatever you prefer. But the otherwise the process is the same. So we're gonna call the drop method if I want to remove a single row, it's just going to be specifying what that row's string name is in, in double quotes or single quotes. So if I want to remove row C, that's how it's done. Similarly, if I want to remove row E, as another example, we can just write an E. If I want to remove more than one uh, row, it's a matter of feeding everything into a Python list. So if I want to remove rows A, C, and E, all of those have to be passed into double quotes and separated by commas inside a list, which is designated by the square brackets. So that's going to remove three rows from the data frame. Again, if I want to perform this operation permanently and in place to alter the original data frame, I just have to feed in a true argument to the in place parameter. So once I do that, we can see that our DF variable now stores the data frame with those three rows removed. I'm going to, uh, once again, um, recreate our original data frame so we have all our original values back and repeat the process for uh, removing columns. So the first thing as always is that we're going to uh, make sure that the axis is set to one. That's the most critical thing so that it knows it's looking in the vertical in the column names. And this one right now wouldn't work unlike our last example because there are no values of either A, C, or E 
um, in our data frame as it currently stands. So if I execute this, I'm going to get an error. But um, as long as the values do exist, you can feed them into the list. So if I wanted to delete, let's say, columns K, L, and M, I can simply feed in K, L, and M into this um, Python list. I can execute that, and we can see now that those two have been removed from our uh, data frame. Similarly, if I want to remove just a single column, uh, I can get rid of the square brackets and just write it in, in uh, its string name. So if I want to remove column n, I just simply feed an n, make sure the axis is set to 1, that indicates the vertical axis. The in-place parameter again indicates that I want to perform the operation and permanently alter the data frame. And if I execute that and we take a look, we can see that we have removed column n or series n from our df data frame. So that is the process of deleting one or more rows and or one or more series from a data frame. Stay classy.